Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Zach. I am a medical esthetician and makeup artist based in Toronto, Canada. And my goal here on YouTube is to make beauty easy and understandable for the everyday person like you and me. Today, we are gonna be talking about the new Lisa Eldridge collection for holiday 2021. I am so excited. I picked up two of the lipsticks and one gloss and two of the lip pencils. And I also picked up the Light One sampling packet and I have on the foundation in shade Light Four, which is Fierce Light with a peachy undertone. I feel like this might be a fraction too light, so I will be ordering, ordering the other two lighter ones. So I'm gonna start with the gloss I picked up just because glosses are a little bit easier and I've heard the velvet lipsticks can leave a little bit of a stain on the lips. So the first one I picked up is the Gloss Embrace in the shade Beauty. So I really enjoy that. For this one, I ended up using the point of the applicator to define the perimeter of my lips a little bit more. So Lisa describes the shade Beauty as a new wave, rose pink light shade, the perfect tone for celluloid ingenues everywhere. Blue undertones lead a fresh innocence. I feel like that's a great shade description. If you've not checked out Lisa's website and seen her shade descriptions, you can definitely see where she has an artist eye for her shades and the inspiration really comes out in the description as well as the shade. For me, very, very pretty color. It's very, very pink. A little too pink for me in my everyday life, but I think it's a very pretty shade and I like it in contrast with my sweater. So I'm gonna remove this and we'll move on. So next we're gonna be trying the shade Velvet Blush Lightly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the shade like I would in my everyday life. I'm gonna start by applying it as a sheer layer between the upper and lower lip, and then we'll build it up and use the lip pencil with it. So here is a thin wash of the shade Blush Lightly. So let's add a lip pencil to it and then build up the color. Here is the shade Blush Lightly built up and applied with the lip pencil. Let's check out the description for the shade Blush Lightly. As the name suggests, this is a softer and less intense version of the best-selling Velvet Blush as requested by you. A playful, wearable, medium muted berry tone, which evokes a just bitten lip flush with color. I'm not gonna be too repetitive in this video. It's a beautiful color. Once again, it's something that built up like this. It's a little too intense for me to wear. I really like it as a stain and it's a shade that I find that works really well for many different skin tones. It's a great blue base, so it can really help brighten the teeth, as well as really pop the eye color, because it's gonna help kind of whiten the eyes. If you're someone like me who has green eyes, that kind of blue purpley tone in the lip color will really help pop the green in the eyes. So beautiful, beautiful color. I would probably wear this more as a subtle stain on the lips. That shade did leave behind a stain, which is really nice. If it's a shade that you're gonna be wearing all day, that stain effect is really nice. But with me doing swatching, it's gonna skew the color that I'm going to apply next a little bit. So I added a little bit of the residual concealer for my concealer brush over my lips just to give us a clean base to work on. So now we're gonna take a look at the shade Velvet Muse. So at first, I'm gonna be applying it as a subtle stain on the lips. So here is Velvet Muse worn as a sheer stain on the lips. For me, this is perfect. This is like, as you saw at the beginning of the video, my lip tone is quite pigmented. It's a, I have a quite a pinky red natural lip tone. So for me, a shade like this is almost like a My Lips But Better shade. It has a little bit more strength, a little bit more body to it. It's not too blue. It's not too orange. It's that nice kind of right in the middle 
tone, which for someone with my coloring, it's a great shade as an everyday wash. I also like shades like this because if I use them on the cheeks, it creates a very harmonious, realistic, lively, lived in effect. So now let's try Muse with the lip pencil and built up to see the full body of this color. So here is Velvet Muse built up to its full color opacity. Even worn more intensely like this, I really, really enjoy this color. It's very much a your lip but better, but made into a statement tone. If you've seen my channel, you know I love all of the kind of your lips but better, all everything in that kind of realm. So I really like this color. So let's check out what Lisa says about this on her website. Velvet Muse. A sensual, smoky rosewood shade with the perfect mix of pinky brown and dirty rose undertones to make this shade super wearable across a wide variety of skin tones. If this were a perfume, the top note would be rose, the heart notes would be cedar and saffron, and the base would be musk and woods. I felt, once again, it's a great description. I'm not going to bore you with me regurgitating what I've said with the other shades. I really, really like this shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. I'm going to apply it as a stain, and then I will be right back. Okay. So here is Velvet Muse again as a stain. So what are my thoughts and opinions on these new products I picked up from Lisa Eldridge? I really, really enjoy them. So for me, I would reach for Velvet Muse most often because I'm not someone who wears makeup in my everyday life, much less wears a lot of lip color in my everyday life. But this shade does remind me of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick and lip pencil. So let me grab those so we can do a quick comparison. So here we have the shade Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury in her lip pencil. And above it, we have Velvet Muse. So Velvet Muse compared to Pillow Talk, it has a little bit more depth to it. It's more of a warm neutral versus Pillow Talk, which is still neutral, but it leans slightly more on the cool pinky side of things. Here we have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Revolution lipstick. With compared to the lip pencil, I find the lip pencil is slightly darker and slightly cooler, whereas I feel like Pillow Talk lipstick is a little bit more neutral and slightly lighter. So last but not least, we have the Lisa Eldridge Lipstick in Velvet Muse. So you can see compared to lipstick, once again, a fraction lighter, but the shade is almost identical. It's just a little bit lighter, so you can get that really beautiful gradient effect. Now, there were more shades released in this collection. I did not buy all of them, just as I know I wouldn't wear them. And people need to be able to get their hands on who can wear them and appreciate them. So. If you need, if so if you would like to see reviews on more of Lisa's lipsticks, more from this collection, I'm going to link in the description box down below my friend Kate. Her channel is called Kate Face, and she does some of the best reviews for Lisa's launches and products, and I think you will absolutely love her. So as far as my kind of first thoughts on this foundation, because I've had the foundation on for about two hours, really enjoy it. Now, if Lisa watches this video, she's going to probably scream because in her little video for the foundation, she says you don't need much at all. As you can see with light four, I, I used a ton. I never wear a ton of foundation, but this foundation, it just, it, I almost felt dumbfounded when I was applying it. One layer looked like you added a thin veil of like flesh skin or something like that on your skin. Two layers, it built up more. And I feel like I maybe have three to four layers on, depending on which part of my face. No matter how much I built this, it built up so well, beautifully, absolutely beautiful. So for me, since she suggests a flat foundation brush, I grabbed the It Cosmetics for Ulta number 106 Airbrush OMG Foundation Brush really really nice brush loved it and then i also used the foundation as my under eye concealer and i used the new bk beauty times angie from hot and flashy this is the 506 to kind of smooth around my eyes corners of my nose 
The foundation blurs the look of the skin. I did not set it with powder, so only powder on my face is where I have some of my Laura Geller bronzer kind of on the perimeters and on my neck just to kind of warm up my complexion since shade light like four is a little too light for me. But it blurs the look of your skin texture. Everything looks smooth, even, perfected. Even though I've built this up to quite a full coverage, it still very much looks like skin. It feels weightless. My texture isn't emphasized and I couldn't be happier. I can't wait to play with some more colors and find my perfect shade match. And when the foundation launches, you can guarantee I will purchase it and share my review with all of you. Little check-in on the Lisa Eldridge Foundation. I just got home from my friend's birthday party and it is 1.30 in the morning. That means I've had the Lisa Eldridge Foundation on for right at eight hours. And here it is up close. So I didn't use any primer. All I'd used is my moisturizer and my sunscreen. And then the only primer I used is a little bit of bronzer right on the perimeter of my face. So down my T-zone, no powder. So here is how it looks. It was so funny because at the end of the night, I asked my friends what they thought about this foundation. And one of my friends was like, I didn't even realize you had foundation on. For me, that means it's a great foundation. I really like it. The shade has really grown on me, so I will be picking this foundation up when it launches. So here is the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation in shade Light 4. Thank all of you so much for spending your time with me today. I hope this review on some of the new Lisa Eldridge products was helpful. And if you enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with a friend as it helps my channel grow here on YouTube. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.